Tom knows a crunchy one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know, I'm 100% aware. I'm copying Emma Chamberlain on this idea. Do I care? No. We're gonna be doing it different, okay? So in Emma's video, she went to McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Arby's, and Jack in the Box. So today we're gonna be trying the underdogs, okay? We're gonna be going to different fast food restaurants that not necessarily specialize in French fries. So our first place is gonna be Wiener Schnitzel. My very first source of food today is gonna be Wiener Schnitzel French fries. That's awesome, great, okay. Where is Schnitzy? Schnitz. Okay, we're at the wiener of the Schnitzy. Hi, can I just get a medium French fry? Right, one medium fry, 331, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. You too. We got our Wiener Schnitz deals. We got our Frenchies from Wiener Schnitzy. Ooh, they gave me like all the coupons, what the heck? First impression, they smell really hot and fresh. They honestly, don't smell bad. Ah. Yeah, they're really hot. Ah. Ow! Mm. They're like actually really hot. Honestly, I don't even like taste salt. It's literally just giving me potato and like very much like bland. Not there. I need like season. Where's the seas? And they're super skinny. They kind of look like McDonald's fries a little bit. Not sure if they're my favorite. Honestly, just stick to the corn dogs and the hot dogs because I don't like fries. Yeah, those are giving me straight just potato, like cut potato, fried, no season, no salt, no nothing. They look and they smell like they'd be good, but they just don't have that like, I feel like fries need to be salty. I see a KFC and I wonder if KFC has like French fries. Maybe we go and try KFC real quick and then if they don't, then we're going to head to Taco Bell because I know that they have nacho fries. <laughs> I just choked on my spit. Hi, um, do you guys have french fries? Small order of those. Okay, they have it. All right, let's see how these bad boys are. I low-key feel like they're gonna be really good because KFC kind of is known for like their, their secret like a recipe or whatever. I don't know. All right, let's try these KFC fries and see if they're the cheese or not. Nice. Whoa. Okay, I was not expecting these. Different kind of seasoning. Ooh, now these smell good. They smell seasoned, like well-nurtured French fries. It has like this little goldeny, crispy. <laughs> these kind of taste like chicken a little. It's not in a bad way, like I kind of dig. Wow, okay. It has like the signature KFC season, you know? And then if you're looking to spice up your life a bit, maybe hit up Colonel Sanders because he's got you covered. Moving on to the next, I think we're gonna go to Taco Bell. Um, can I just get an order of the nacho fries? Nacho fries. Should I be rating the fries? Like, I feel like I should be. Anyways, we're gonna start rating them now, from now on. That's Thank you. You too. Time to talk about nacho fries. Let's do this. I don't really know if I like the smell. Okay, so it's kind of nice that it comes with like a cheese sauce, but it's like, is the cheese sauce trying to hide the taste of the fry? Because maybe the fries like aren't good? Who knows? Looks like that um, has like a little bit of discoloration, but we'll look past it. Okay, dip it in the cheese sauce. Let me try it without the cheese sauce because I have a theory, hold on. And I was right. The cheese sauce is literally given with the fries because the fries aren't good enough on their own and they need the cheese sauce because all I could taste in that first one was cheese sauce and it tasted real good. <laughs> the fry by itself, no, 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 no. The fries on their own, honestly, the fries on their own are like, a four out of 10 maybe. But with the cheese sauce, brings it up to like a six possibly. KFC fries, honestly, I'd give them a seven and a half out of 10. Wiener schnitzel so far, I would say probably a three. Okay, so now I think we're gonna hit up Del Taco and then probably Carl's Jr. and The Habit. So yeah, let's go to Del Taco. I'll see you guys when I get there. Um, It's official, Del Taco has the longest line out of literally all. What is popping? They're, la they're literally popping. <laughs> Comment of the video if you guys like Taco Bell or Del Taco better, let me know. Honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like I like them for different reasons. Low-key though, I think Del Taco's fries are gonna be better than Taco Bell's fries. Um, can I just get a small french fry? Okay, we secured the bag successfully because we're so sick this boy. Del Taco french fry taste test time. Let's do it. It like doesn't smell that great. <laughs> Like some of them have flavor and then other ones like don't. I don't know. I do like them better than Taco Bell's fries, but if it's like with the cheese, I, uh, I don't know. I don't like Taco Bell's fries better alone, but I do like them better with the cheese. Since these are alone, I like Del Taco's better. I'm gonna give Del Taco a six out of 10. Six out of 10, because I feel like they're not like middle ground. They're like, a, they could, they have potential. We're gonna go to The Habit. Oh, let's go. First impression, the habit fries smell divine. Looks like this. 
Domino's a crunchy one. Some are crispy, some are not, but they have this perfect like golden-y look. You can see the fry, like the salt on the fry. They look amazing and they taste amazing. Exhilarating. Delicious. I don't know how else to explain these fries. They're just so good. They have the perfect amount of salt. They're crispy, they're crunchy. Compared to everyone else, these are the top dogs. These are like, okay, on the scale of what we're working with, 10 out of 10 right now, okay? We'll give them a nine because we don't want to like stroke their ego too much, but they're good, okay? Oh, okay. I'll see you Carl's Jr. Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Alrighty. Last but not least, certainly, Carl's Jr. Oh, there we go. Carl's Jr. So these are... Carl's Jr. french fries, they look like this. These are good, okay. Honestly, they have like kind of a chicken-y taste too, like chicken stars kinda. They're hot, but they're good, oh my god. I think these actually beat the habit. They're like long, skinny fries, perfect amount of salt, perfect crunch, like. You guys, do not sleep on Carl's Jr. fries. Those are bomb. Okay, so the ranking of them all from best to worst is Carl's Jr., The Habit, KFC, Dell, and then Taco Weenie. <laughs> Carl's Jr., The Habit, KFC, Dell Taco, Taco Bell, Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, the winner is Carl's Jr. <laughs> If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more like this, please let me know because I'm honestly down to like do other things. Like, I don't know what else I would do. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't ever miss an upload. Comment down below what's your favorite fast food restaurant for french fries. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!